Hi folks, and welcome back to Conan Exiles. So, this is another build video. And this time we're building a castle out of the Nemidian build set, which comes from the People of the Dragon DLC. And this is one of my favourite build sets. The whole castle is built completely from this build set. There's no other pieces used. Um, I've chosen to build it here at uh, B7, just, just north of Sepamaru. And... This is the footprint that we're going to use for the build. So let's get building. So, my big problem with the Numidian build set is the foundations are these wooden blocks, which don't look the best when you're using them as the, the foundations. So let me see if I spin one around. Bring it up a bit. There's a bit of a lump over there, so it has to be quite high. Place that down. You can see that we've got, like, the wooden logs as the basis, which don't look the best. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use them in the internals, and uh, I will use the ceilings and um, pillars all around the outside to, to make it look a little bit better. So if we swap on here, let, in fact, let's make, let's make the actual, what is it, a 5 by 6 base for the keep first. So that's 3, uh, and then we're going to need these on the outside. Let me see. One, one two, three, four, five. And then we'll do the ceilings on the outer edge. Make that six. Five like that. And then we need the wedges on the very back here. Yeah, Got to get the pattern to line up. Let's see, so... Like that, like that, like that. So we've got the three little wedges at that end. And we'll chop these trees out of the way. Right, I'm going to need to put some pillars down here. Probably every second foundation would need a pillar, just to give it the, the right amount of stability when we build up. Yeah, yeah just throw them in. Okay, and then we need more wedges down here for the entrance. Like that. And again, I'm going to stick here and here will do. Ah, look at Why not? Why not? Chuck some in. Can't go wrong. Okay, so that's the four ploy the base plate of the keep. Now we're going to branch out and we're going to look at the the towers around the outside of the battlements so i want to come two three in from there and then this has to be four wide two three four uh, and then we're going to need we're going to need to put in some pillars here as well and then we're going to make the first of the tower so we're going to start with a wedge that and then we'll have a straight one like that and like that and then in the center we're going to because these won't be seen we can use the the actual wedge foundations we're just spinning them around so that the pattern of the wood matches rocking the weight Right, and then we can continue with the second rung. So we'll take the the straight piece first. We'll put that in place. Then fill in 
with the wedges. And you can see that the, the wooden planks create like a, a circular pattern. So there we go, that's one done. And now we're going to head off in this direction. So we're going to have a another, a, let me see, four. Getting the right pattern, three. A little fawn in the way underneath. So while we're doing that, we'll fill in, let's stick in some pillars just to give support. do. Fawn, you're going to have to get removed at some point very soon. That's not wanting to spin round. Come on, spin. There we go. Right, and then this is the start of the next circle. So there's going to be wedges in there and there. And then foundation wedges in here. And we're just going to repeat this process. That's one side down. Now we're going to repeat the exact same thing over on the other side. Right, there we go. That's the three towers done, or the base of the three towers done on both sides. So now we need to just finish off the front. And to finish off the front, we just need a straight line of square ceilings right across. Oh, obviously, we're going to have to put in pillars to support them on the way. So let me copy one of them and we'll put every second one in. Okay, like that. Right, but then to make the front a little bit more interesting, we're going to kind of put in some, some kind of fake towers. So we're going to need wedges for that. So we're going to count one, two, three, and then four. And then put two in like that. And then at the other side as well. And uh, one, two, one, two, three, four. And then do the same again. should leave three in the middle, which is going to be for our gate. Now, gates are notoriously difficult to get them to snap properly. They want to snap into the middle of the, the foundation, so the trick to get around that is we use some fence foundations. Uh, if I can find the fence foundations, there they are. We'll put a row of fence foundations along the front, and also at the back, we want two door frames like so and then we get our gates and the gate should now snap to the fence foundations if we could get them to snap at the right place there facing out the way and then do the same at this side like that there we go then we can finish the gateway up Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do we actually have to... Oh, I've messed up. I've missed a bit. We need to put these in first. To make like a doorway entrance. Right, let's now try and get the gate to snap at the right place. There we go. We'll have to do the same at the inner bit.
like that. There we go. Right, so this will end up being... Uh, let's put a couple of pillars uh. under there. Just to give a little bit more support. And then we'll put stairs in here like that. So we'll be able to walk in through the gate. And then we'll be in here like that. Okay, so that's the gateway in. Now we need to start putting the walls in that will make the castle walls. Because we've done these ceilings and pillars, we can now snap the, the walls to it. We can get them to go the right way around. Get the outer facing like that. And if you then start putting the walls in, they join together and make a seamless stone wall so we don't have that log foundation that is the Nimidian foundation. So I need to go around the whole building and place place these now. Right, there we go. So the first floor has all been done. We've got the from the floor down to the ground and we've got one wall high all the way around with gaps left where, oh apart from this bit let's see fill this bit in that corridor but we've got gaps where we want to have our stairs so we'll have obviously doors in these locations so there's a, a door a door and a door there of a door here door there. Oh, missed. Where did that go? Oh, I've put it, I've put it in the floor. Give me that one. Try that again. Okay. Door frame there. And there. And then we do oh, oh, climb in. Let's let's put stairs in. I'm gonna put the the ones with rails in, so you can actually get in to each room. Like that there. Okay. This will just be normal stairs going straight up like that. Okay. And a stair there. That's all the, I think that's all the stairs. Right, now we need another door frame just in between the corridors. So, there, 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 and there, and then the same at the other side. Right, and then for the second level of walls, we want to use these windows and midian frames. So they're going to go all the way around here. Like that, like that, and like that. Uh, but the ones that go through into corridors will just be normal walls. So we have to repeat that. Uh, let me see. We've got one, two, three, four walls there. So we'll have two windows in the middle, like that. And stone walls on the outside. And then go back to... Windows all the way around. On the outside, and then solid walls above the door frames. Like that. Right, I have to repeat that on all the towers. Okay, so that's the ground floor completed. We've got the solid walls at the front, and then we've got the window walls going around the towers and the corridors. Solid walls and the keep all the way around. So next we have to put the flooring in. So these these sections either side of the door, they are not going to be used, so they don't need to be floored. But we're just going to do the same as what we've done before, repeating the pattern down below with the pattern that's on this floor here. So square, 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 square 
Top square. And then triangle wedges in each one. Like that and like that. And then in the center, all orientated so that the, the wooden pattern goes in like a circle motion around the floor. And then going across the top of here. Oh. And we're going to repeat all the way, all the way around. Okay, so that's the ceiling for the next level, all placed all the way around. As I mentioned before, the two bits either side of the front gate, they won't have actually rooms inside them that we'll visit, so we don't need them in there. So we're now going to start on the next level. So we need to start with some doors. So just on the sections that have got the central towers in it because they there won't be anything let's see going going down the way from up here hey, that's the wrong way around that way facing outwards from each tower hey, that way that way, that way, that way, there we go. And we're going to have a set of stairs that go down the side here that will be able to get you up to the top, and we'll do that for both sides. Like that, that'll get you up there. In fact, let's make it... No, that won't need to be a door frame. That'll be okay. That'll be okay. Right, so we're going to do the same thing again with the, the towers, where the first floor is just going to be a solid wall. All the way around. Like so. But the second level is going to be slightly different this time. We're going to use these Nermidian frames, and we're going to use them on the sort of every second one like so uh, let me see i need one there and one there that will be solid because that's a doorway as well that and then we'll have the normal numidian frames in between like come on like that so if we come outside you can see it like that so we're now going to do that on each of the six towers. We're going to work our way around the six towers. Okay, there we go. There's the second floor of each of the towers done. And the front wall has been built up to the same height as the door entrance as well. So now we have to do these little walkways here. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use... Initially, we're going to use the... Numidian fences and we're going to put a row of fences along here and either side like that we can do that here too and across these ones too like that and then we're going to use the Numid Numidian rooftops to place them along like that to make little walkways that we can walk between the towers so if we then drop down here we can see we can walk through the walkways with the Numidian roofs in it into each of the, the towers like so. Okay. Oh. Come on. Drop down. Right. Next, we need to do that on the other side as well. Next, we're going to kind of just finish off this middle middle section here. And we're going to do that by putting uh, ceiling pieces along the top. So, not that important to have them all lined up I suppose because it's unlikely that anybody's going to see this up here 
I'm going to go over the top of the two gateways. And we'll fill in these little arch tower bits with the wedges too. Like that. And then we'll edge it with the crenellated walls. Which makes the very castle-like crenellations at the top of the top of the walls. So, and on the inside as well, with the battlement. There we go. So that gives a, a very castle-like. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to put a roof on each of the, the towers here. So we're going to need the flat roof like that. In fact, what I can use, I can use these ones with the windows and we'll put them opposite uh, if I can get it to snap like that. We'll put them opposite to the big brown windows. Oh, I got it there. Like so. Like so. That and like that. And then we need the wedges. Where's the wedges? There. Sloped wedges. Fill them in. Like that. Okay, now we just need to repeat that on the other five towers. Okay. Okay, there we go. That's the, the six towers all got roofs on, and I've put the walkway covers on on the other side as well. Right, so the next thing we need to do is... Uh, oh, look, Delincia's getting attacked over there. Let me just intervene a second. Oh, didn't need to. It's all okay. Right, the next thing we need to do is get the roof on the main keep. So let's have a look at that. We're going to start with some sloping corners. So let's spin that around there, 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 and there. And then we're going to put in, let me see, we're going to put in one of those little sloped window walls in there. And we'll put maybe one on each side on the side. And then normal sloping walls in between, like so, and then to stop the roof of this building just getting a bit too high, we're going to fill that in with um, normal ceiling pieces, we'll spin them around, like so. Okay, uh, then just to try and make the roof a little bit more interesting, let's put one of these windows in like that, either side. Uh, then we'll put the we'll put more sloping roofs in like that. Okay, and then we'll need. Let's see, there's only two gaps there, so we'll just put normal sloping walls like that. Like that. Then we need the inverted sloping walls. See, that has to go on this side. Like that. And, go on, snap in. Whoa, something weird going on there. Nope, that didn't work. Oh, that's better. And then the other side. That one. Like that. And then we'll put the roof cap on it, is it called? This one here. Rooftop end. We'll stick that one on either side. And then we'll have the normal median rooftop 
to join the two together like that. There we go. Slightly more interesting. Uh, and then on this wall here, because this is a very flat wall, we will decorate this because I'm not keen of the flat walls. But just to break it up a little bit, we'll take the corners again and put them in above the doorway there. And then a slope wall like that. So then you've got a little overhang going over your over your door. And finally we'll put some fences in like that. Uh, and that's the basic building now complete. We just need, oh, somehow or other, I filled in a door frame there. We need doors. Go on. Like that. And then we'll need doors on each of these. Like that, like that, like that. And that should be it. Don't think we'll need doors on the in between the, the towers. We might have doors on the keep. Like that. And there we go. So that's the basic building of the Namidian castle. Ready to go. And now we just need to decorate it. So there we go, there is the Numidian castle build. 
So I, I have chosen the Midian set because it does give the most sort of representative of a medieval castle with the, the brick walls. But we've replaced the foundations, the wooden foundations, with the walls of stone going down using the ceiling and pillar trick. But other than that, you could you could quite happily build this out of any build build set. I don't think there's any fancy pieces in here. Um, but I just think it looks best in the Numidian set. But that's it. That's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, please hit the like button. Hit subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.